I'm going to ask Saidi Nash Carter, Head of Innovation Africa for Thomson Reuters and co-chair of the Black Employee Network. Mm -hmm. So, Saidi, can you tell us about your work with the Black Employee Network and how you feel that sustainable development goals can be leveraged by uh, the African Union as an opportunity to empower women through entrepreneurship and finance in Africa? Sure. So again, thank you for uh, having me this morning. I'm really happy to sort of talk about this topic. It's, it's one that I am uh, quite passionate about. So I'll start with um, our work, or my work in particular, with the, the Black Employee Network at Thomson Reuters. Um, it is a professional uh, affinity group. It is a global organization with 11 chapters that um, span the US, including uh, New York, Atlanta, uh, Washington, DC, Egan, Minnesota, Carrollton, Texas, and also we have chapters in uh, London and Nairobi. Um, I am global co-chair of that organization, and we really have three areas of focus um, uh, for our sort of um, work. Um, the first one is around recruitment, so um, attracting the best um, black talent to Thomson Reuters. Uh, the second one is around development. So once that talent is inside of the organization, how do we make sure that we are developing them um, to reach their full potential within the organization? Thirdly, it's around advancement. Right? So making sure that the talent is flowing through the organization and moving into the opportunities that they're best uh, placed or best fit to, um, to deliver on. It's very much a partnership with our uh, corporate social responsibility and inclusion group, which sits within our human resources department. Um, and we really are focused on becoming an uh, employer of choice for people of color across the board. And importantly, um, unlocking the full potential of um, our employees inside of the organization. Um, because as a part of this effort, we really want them to, be, to feel like they can bring their whole selves uh, to work. Um, and a part of that too, which I think is really important and related to what we're talking about here, is um, connecting with the diaspora inside of Thomson Reuters. We're able to think about ways we can flow talent from the Americas, for example, or from Europe um, to Africa, right? And what that flow looks like and how you can and we can exchange ideas, talent, expertise to grow our business um, across the different continents. So um, that's sort of the Black Employee Network and, and how we focus there. It's talking about sort of um, women's empowerment and, um, and uh, technology and um, entrepreneurism, et cetera. Um, I really want to, given the role that I have, which is focused on um, innovation and um, thinking differently about how we do business in these markets, um, I want to emphasize the importance of leveraging emerging technology um, and the startup ecosystem in the development of all of that. Um, particularly when we think about Sub-Saharan Africa and the role that mobile technology plays. Uh, certainly here in the US, mobile technology is, is pretty uh, core to everything that we do, but it's much more of a mobile first environment. Um, in Sub-Saharan Africa, what we find as we're beginning to look at sort of products and services there, it really is a mobile only environment. And so that is, um, is, is sort of a cornerstone of how we're thinking about our products and services there, um, also financial technology and how that is, uh, is evolving. Um, and we're working very closely with a number of different organizations to make sure that as we think about this startup um, and um, entrepreneur engagement that we are tapping into female talent, female entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs, 
um, of color and otherwise that are also tackling um, some of these challenges. I think it's super important that um, women have a voice at the table when it comes to the development of technology. Um, some of the most uh, uh, or the best collaborators and communicators that I know are women. Um, technology is a is a uh, important enabler of that. So making sure that that we that these women are thinking about the next generation of collaboration and communication, I think, is very important to um, sustain development of real technology that can have an impact not only on how we communicate and connect with each other, but also how our societies develop and advance and grow positively going forward. To the gentleman's point. Um, around women sort of innately thinking about community and family um, in pretty much everything that we do. I think technology has a role to play in solving for social ills and um, women are, uh, are, 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 are well placed to help to solve for some of those, those things. I thank you. I, I find those comments very stimulating because when around financing for development in the SDGs, as you know, we talk a lot about capacity building. And if we want to do infrastructure in Africa, we need to have the capacity in Africa to identify, develop, and finance those projects. So the kinds of strategies that you were talking about, you know, for example, in developing the local finance initiative for Tanzania and Uganda, mm -hmm we had a real issue recruiting the local talent that could really build that program. And so for the AU and thinking through how do you actually go through a process of recruitment and bring in women as well, I think some of your, your examples and the kind of principles are, are quite applicable. Now we'll move on, thank you, to our last speaker. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.